Hello my fellow gamers, my name is Peter and today I am doing an advanced battle tutorial. My friend Blackcurrent is going to be leading the Carthaginian army against my army which is going to be a Roman army. Okay guys, so before the battle starts some short information about my system and the performance of Rome on my PC. I'm sure you're probably going to have some questions so I'm editing this part of the video in advance so you have all the information right here in this video. As you can see in the upper right corner I have the MSI afterburner overlay online. The GPU2 is showing you how high is the temperature of my GPU2. My graphic card is a dual GPU but ROM2 only uses one core so you can see the temperature of the core that is actually running the game. Underneath it you can see that the game is running on DirectX 11 and you can see the frame rate. That overlay is going to be on during the entire video so you can see how is my PC performing. As you can see on the screen I have written down my PC components so you know what kind of a PC I'm running the game on and I will show you exactly which graphic settings I'm using during this battle. You'll see that most of it is on medium or high, the only thing on ultra is the unit size of the particle effects are very high because once you go below high or medium they become very ugly. The unlimited video memory is on because I do have a dual GPU graphic card which has 1500 megabytes of video memory on both cores so in total it is 3 gigabytes so my hope is that the unlimited video memory is going to use all that memory and give me better graphics. Now without the unlimited memory on my game can get quite choppy and sometimes I will have uh, big falls in the frame rate while with it on I don't have those big falls in frame rate so it's doing a good job for me. You can see that I have disabled both vegetation alpha, distortion effects, SSLA because those can take about 5 or 6 frames on my PC each. Now just like in that first basic tutorial I'm using the same army and my friend is using almost the same army as I used for the Carthaginians. Now he is going to deploy his army almost the same way I am deploying mine so we are going to have a totally equal engagement and I'm going to show you how to use your units, how to use your abilities, when to use them and why. Ok guys, so this is an actual battle but my friend knows exactly what I'm going to do and this is because I am just trying to slow the battle down so I can show you what and when to do it. So first of all my friend now knows that I'm going to get my range units forward to get into range of his units. As you can see I have two units of Valetes and one unit of auxiliary Syrian archers. He on the other hand has mercenary Cretan archers and he has three of them. Now he is right there in the range but as you can see they are not shooting as I have told him to toggle his fire at will off. Once I tell him to turn them on these units are going to start shooting at each other but I am not going to shoot at his range units. My objective here is to weaken his infantry units because that is the point of this battle. I want to break his center, his core, his infantry. That is why I am going to weaken them with my range units while my own infantry is going to advance. So as you can see now I have chosen 3 targets for 3 of my range units. My friend has ordered his range units to start peppering my range units. So I'm attacking his infantry, he's attacking my range units. Now as you can see my unit has started to route. I have now got to take my general, put him forward and do this, the rally. The rally ability is going to help this unit come back into the battle. As you can see they have been rallied. Now this little green sign has shown up here and is now back and should get this unit back but as you can see their morale was too low for them to come into the battle. Forward. My general was unable to rally these troops. This is because they took two heavy casualties and they are not going to be returned to the battle. As you can see there is only 40 left of them out of 120. Archer. Now, these archers are still fighting and you can use this precision shot to get them to have more damage against the enemy unit. My Friend is probably using the same thing and that is why he's making so much damage. Now let's see what have I accomplished by losing these units. I have taken out 11 of this heavy melee infantry, I have taken out 20 of these and I have taken out 
7 of these. So I have lost 3 range units in order to kill in total 7 plus 11, that's 18 and 20, 38 of his infantry units. This shows you that if you are attacking your range units, his infantry units, you are going to lose your units while not being able to make a big of advantage in his units. Now this is going to show you that you do not want only a range engagement. If you had shot his range units while he was shooting my range units, both units would be damaged and they would keep firing until they ran out of ammo or killed each other. This also accomplishes close to nothing. The point is to use your range units while you're battling the enemy in a melee assault. So now my friend is going to attack my infantry units, one versus one, each unit is going to charge its counterpart, but my friend is going to have the advantage of shooting his range units into my infantry units while they are fighting his units. This is going to reduce the morale of my units while also reducing his because of the friendly fire penalty. But he's going to have the bigger advantage because I'm going to be losing my men from his infantry and from his archers, while his men are only going to rarely get hit by his archers by friendly fire. Brave Romans to a man! Now, as each of these infantry units has been ordered to move, Ready and you have to keep your general Five close out. to the general melee. You also need to bring back, bring forward your spears so that they can be close by to support your infantry units. Now, as the infantry is fighting, you also need to bring on its own power ups like this, use the whip, which increases melee attack, weapon damage, and reduces the fatigue resistance because fatigue is gained while running and fighting. As you can see, after a prolonged engagement, my infantry has won against his infantry. This is because my infantry is higher quality, and it was buffed sooner and at an appropriate time with the general's abilities. Now, if you want to gain an advantage over infantry that is better quality than your infantry, you have to use flank or back attacks. This is because you, your objective in a battle is to actually fight the enemy and break their morale. Just like it's happening now to my units because they are getting shot at by his three units. Now how to achieve that extra morale back or flank attack? Well this is how, you have to use cavalry. You have to win a cavalry engagement in order to use cavalry to attack the enemy infantry from behind. Now me and my friend are going to battle with cavalry. On this flank he has three units, I have three units, but on this flank he has two units while I have three units. This means that I have an advantage on this flank. Now we are going to fight cavalry versus cavalry and each is going to charge into each. But as you can see on this flank, I have the advantage of having one extra cavalry. That means that I'm just going to run my cavalry past this cavalry engagement. And as you can see, my friend has rearranged his units to use this flying wedge formation. And we are going to see just how much better it is going to work against my troops. Now that I have a free cavalry, I'm going to put it and attack behind his units. Now as you can see, he's going to try and block it with the spear unit. My objective here is to attack his general. He has dismounted his general in order to keep him close to his infantry and not let him get too far away. That is why he has a spear unit right next to him, which is now going to use to block the cavalry advance. This is exactly why you are bringing spear units, even though you have lots of cavalry. You have to make sure to always have them handy in order to be able to block an enemy's advance towards your rear, your flank or your general. Let's take a look how the cavalry is doing. My Praetorian cavalry seems to be doing very well against his melee cavalry, while my auxiliary cavalry has done a similar job. But my equities have suffered heavy losses and lost against the Carthaginian cavalry. On this other flank, where he used the flying wedge formation, we have an equal amount of 
dead and killed. Well, up here. At your service. My Praetorian cavalry is still winning, even though he has used a better formation for fighting with cavalry. Rally to me. Now, I have not used Draco. Draco gives you bonus versus cavalry and bonus versus cavalry. Which means that when you're in a cavalry fight, you can turn this on to help your units kill the enemy cavalry faster. Now he's sending his spear units to attack my cavalry, which won some of these cavalry engagements. And as you can see, he's even taking his units, the Drauten, and came back to attack me once more. But as you can see, that will not help him very much. His cavalry units are still way stronger than the cavalry that just came back from routing. As you can see, they go from green morale to red morale very fast, and so they're going to route again. That is why he's using the spear units to attack my cavalry. At this moment you have to escape with your own cavalry and you can either choose to bring your cavalry back and then attack his infantry units with your own infantry units or go deeper into his formation and lead his units away from the infantry engagement. Now this depends on what units do you have to fight his infantry. If you do not have available units, then it is better to go into his formation Riders, and make advance. him chase them. If you have units that are going to su that are superior to his units and can win that infantry engagement, then it is better to lead his infantry back into your units. I am going to stop here to prevent this video from becoming too long. The advanced battle tutorial will continue in the next video when my friend and I are going to fight this battle out for real. It is going to be a live battle because the replay system is not working at the moment and I will be telling you about all the moves that are being made on the battlefield. I will post the link to that video right here, so thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more.